Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're diving into a really cool open source project from Google called the Gemini Full Stack Langraph Quick Start. You can find it right here on GitHub. This project is a fantastic example of how to build a full stack research augmented conversational AI. It uses a React front end and a powerful back end built with Langraph, Fast API, and of course, Google's Gemini models. At its core, this project is a full stack application that demonstrates how to build a powerful research agent. When you give it a query, it's designed to perform comprehensive multi-step research. How it works, it dynamically generates search terms. It queries the web using the Google search API. It reflects on the results to identify any knowledge gaps and it iteratively refines its search until it can provide a detailed, well-supported answer complete with citations. This is the kind of advanced multi-step research you see in premium services, but this project lets you build and run it yourself. It's a perfect example of how to build truly powerful conversational AI using Langraph and Gemini. So the first step is to get the code. We'll head over to the code button and clone the repository. After cloning, let's take a look at the project structure. We have two main directories front end, which is a React application built with Vite and backend, which is our Langraph and FastAPI application containing all the agent logic. Diving into the backend, the core logic is in Graph Pi. This is where the Langraph agent is defined. It's a state machine with different nodes like generate query, web search reflection, and finalize answer. To get this running, this project can be run easily using Docker. I'll use the Docker compose up command, making sure to pass my API keys as environment variables. Okay, our app is up and running. Let's test it out. I'll ask it a question. What is the latest AI news? As you can see, the UI shows its processing. It runs the web research step, which is a good sign, but then nothing. The response area is completely blank and we're just left with a copy button. The final answer never appears. So what's going on here? This is where Landsmith becomes invaluable. Langgraph automatically logs our agent's execution trace, allowing us to see exactly what's happening under the hood. Looking at the trace for our last run, we can see the entire process a step by step. The agent successfully generated a query, performed multiple web searches, went through several reflection steps, and even composed a final detailed answer in the finalized answer step. This confirms that our backend agent is working perfectly. The logic is solid. The problem must be on the front end and how it's handling the streamed response. The UI is failing to render the updates it's receiving, so let's debug the front-end code. Now, let's be honest, my background is in data science, not front-end software engineering. A bug like this, buried in React and TypeScript, would normally take me a lot of time to solve by myself with an AI. I provided the context, I explained the bug, it suggested adding specific console, log statements to track the events. This back and forth helped me quickly test ideas and pinpoint the exact line of code that was failing. This collaborative approach is a game changer. It massively accelerates the debugging process and helped me solve a complex front-end issue that was outside my main area of expertise. With the fix applied, let's restart the Docker container and try our query one more time. Tell me the latest AI news. And there we have it, it's working perfectly. We can now see the research steps streaming in real time, followed by the complete, well-structured final answer. The key takeaway here isn't just about the specific bug, but about the workflow, using tools like Langsmith for observability and collaborating with an AI assistant for debugging is an incredibly effective way to build and fix modern applications. If you're new to Langgraph and want to understand the fundamentals of how these nodes and graphs work, be sure to check out my previous video on the basics. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.